Warning! This show discusses craft brewed beer and is intended for viewers over the age of 21. Viewer discretion is advised. Drink responsibly! Well, it's time to belly up to the bar and find out what's on tap at Brews with Brian. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brews with Brian, your weekly craft beer review podcast here on the Loaded Sports Network. Check the hat out. Uh, where each and every Monday, myself, the Colonel, and my co-host Bill, we'll get to him in just a minute, uh, we review craft beer from around the world. Craft beer is special, guys. It's made with patience and time. The people that re- that make this stuff actually care about the product they're delivering to us, and that means a lot to me. So let's see what we got for this week. We got uh, Sierra Nevada Stout. Again, Sierra Nevada is a very famous craft beer company. Uh, they could be the first craft beer company here in the U.S., and uh, this is our stout, and here's a picture of it poured into a glass. Again, guys, pour all your craft beer in a glass. Pretty easy to do, and you'll enjoy it better. The aromas are better. The taste is even better than drinking it from the bottle or drinking it from the can. But guys, let's go ahead and jump into the review. That's why you're here. This thing has a body that's very dark, and uh, and it's rich. It shows medium to high body and creates a beautiful dark beige head with about two inches thick. It's a very beautiful looking stout. Again, you want your stouts traditionally, they're going to be dark. You know, you can't see through the glass, nice, thick, uh, either off white or tan head. And the aroma is very to the point with very forward notes of chocolate, coffee, roasted malts, and small hint of hops. Again, these stouts traditionally are not going to be very hot or hop forward. Uh, they're going to be in there because all beer has them. But this thing, usually stouts are going to be uh, loaded with coffee, roasted malts, and maybe a little bit of a char off a barrel if it's barrel aged. The taste starts off with a small sweetness coming from the chocolate notes and from the malts. Uh, then moving on to where the where the party is, is the bitterness section of the tongue where the dark chocolate notes meets the coffee bitterness and comes together with a revolving and yet smooth hoppy tone. And it was brilliantly executed. One of the best stouts in the world, in my opinion. Uh, And this is just their traditional stout. I'm sure they have many other varieties. But the body is medium to high. The carbonation is good and the alcohol is unnoticed. It's a very good classic stout. Like I said, I I love this beer. Uh, Always make sure I pick up at least a a six pack when I find it. And uh, like I said, I loved it, guys. I think... uh, think you will too definitely need to go try to find it anything really by sierra nevada is great i mean they make the best pale ale on the market and have for you know 30 something years probably hey guys this is the colonel here from the lotus sports network wanting to tell you about our merchandise store guys it's open now you can uh freely go buy uh some t-shirts and support this network and help it grow here's a short little video showing you how to get to it First thing you want to do is go to lotusportsnetwork.com, go to the home page, you can click on the network store, and it will take you to the store. And you can see here, uh, we got Lotus Sports Network, t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. Scrolling down, got the Yellow Hammer Football Podcast, same thing, t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. Spring Loaded Footballs also represented uh, the flagship show of the network, Coach's Corner. For all them Coach's Corner fans out there, I know there's a lot of you guys, represent Coach's Corner. And also Bruiser Brian. Again, T-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and hoodies. Guys, you know, it it might not mean much to y'all, but it means a lot to us. So we uh, would highly encourage you to help support this network. And buying a T-shirt will help us do a lot more things, you know. The more we make off this network, the uh, the more we're able to do with it. And uh, we want to see it grow as much as possible. And it just means a lot to us, guys. So, again, thank you very much. Please consider buying a T-shirt. But, guys, let's check in with Bill. He's the co-host on the show. Bill is a character. You know, you hear about him every week. You know, we're still trying to nail him down for the question and answer show. Uh, we're going to do a little bonus show whenever I can get him. Again, he's on his motorcycle riding across country. But uh did get with him this week to see what he thought about this stout from Sierra Nevada. 
Again, each and every week, you can see Bill here pouring a beer into the Brews with Brian mug. And there he is, guys. He loved it. Again, how can you not love this? How can you not love any beer from Sierra Nevada? This stout is fantastic. I think everybody should try it. Go out of your way to find it. Uh, if you see it, you got to try it. If you're at your local uh, craft beer shop and they've got it, make sure you pick it up. And now we're on to the Brews with Brian Bar Trivia. The question from last week was, what country drinks the most beer You know, per person? And the answer was the Czech Republic. The former Czech, Czechoslovakia, I do believe. But anyway, the question for this week is, where was the Pilsner invented? The Pilsner is a type of beer, very light, uh, very good beer. But uh, where was the Pilsner invented? Do you know it? You might know it. It's a pretty easy one, I think. But we'll get that back next week and find out what the answer is. Guys, I just want to thank everybody for listening. The show continues to grow each and every week. Um, if you're listening to the audio version, you can you know you'll be surprised to hear an, an advertisement right there at the beginning of the show. Uh, that just shows you how much the show has grown since joining the Loaded Sports Network. And we hope to have many more advertisers. And if anybody's listening and wants to advertise, just shoot us an email, bruiserbrian at gmail.com, and we'll see what we can do. But again, guys, you can watch the video show on YouTube and Spotify. You can listen to the show anywhere you find your favorite podcast. And guys, we hope that we're a part of that group. But guys, don't forget, stop back by Bruiser Brian, where knowledge is always on tap.